After sorting and naming, specimens for the Edinburgh Herbarium were sent for mounting. The aim of mounting is to produce herbarium specimens which display important plant characteristics in an aesthetically pleasing way, but they also have to be robust enough to withstand repeated handling so they remain accessible to future researchers in years to come. Mounters decide how to arrange the pressed plant and select a sample of loose material for the capsule and use archival materials to glue, tape and stitch the plant specimen onto the supportive mounting board. Begin by arranging the plant specimen on the mounting card with the label in the bottom right hand corner. Larger specimens may have to be trimmed to size. Then glue a paper capsule into one of the other corners. It's vital to have extra material for close study if specimens are glued down. Put any loose plant fragments in the capsule and if there are plenty fruit, seeds or flowers, take a sample, preferably from the back. Very large fruits and seeds are best removed and stored separately. The paper clip holds the capsule shut while you work on it and can be removed after. Only a small amount of glue is needed to stick the label. Too much glue can cause the label and mounting card to curl up and distort as it dries. Next glue the plant specimen itself. Different types of plant material will need more or less glue. The glue can be thinned if necessary with a little water. Take care to avoid getting glue on the front of the plant as dried glue can mask important surface details. If there's only one flower on the specimen, glue the rest of the plant but leave the flower free. Position the plant specimen on the mounting card and use a clean brush and water to gently remove any excess glue. Cover the specimen with non-stick paper and soft card and leave it to dry. Several specimens can be stacked under one weight if the plants are flat. Bulky specimens are best kept separate to avoid distorting others. Once the glue is dry, the plant specimens can be stitched and taped to further secure them to the mounting card. For woody stems, punch guide holes and make a stitch every 8 to 10 centimetres. Bulky roots and fruits can also be stitched. Make sure the thread is pulled tight and that the knot is secure. A square of gummed paper tape over the knot prevents damage to the specimen stored underneath it. Strips of gummed paper tape are used to secure delicate stems and leaf tips. Make sure the tape fits snugly round the stem and position tapes so they don't obscure important plant characteristics.